the things that I wish I knew at 15 uh, were probably mostly about planning. And the biggest thing that I can tell you about planning, there are three, there are three areas that you really need to, to look at first. The first thing is you have to have your goals. And at 15, it's very hard to have goals. So you think, well, what am I going to need at 35, at 40? You don't know what those are, but it doesn't matter because the goals that you have now are the goals that, you're gonna, that are going to guide you into the next set of goals. When you're, say, 20 or 25, it doesn't matter. But if you don't have a goal now, you will have nowhere to go. So you have to have your goals set now. It doesn't matter if it changes. Then you have to have your planning because without the planning, the goal is never, is never within reach. The plans are very, very important. And again, it doesn't matter if they're right or not. You just do what you think you should do. And everything will come out pretty right. Uh, and the last part is about commitment. Once you commit to your goals and your plans, that's when you see everything happen. That's when it comes to fruition. Because that's when you give it your all. You don't let things stand in your way. When you're committed to something, nothing stops you. That's the, mo that's the biggest problem with most people is that they have an idea of what they want, but then something gets tough. Something gets in their way. So you know what? Uh, that's really hard. I don't, maybe I'm not going to do that. And they go and do something else. And they never succeed. Do what you're doing. Commit to it. Follow it through to the end. And you will get there.